Hey guys, it's Jason 28W. Um, I am going. To, uh, okay, what you're looking at here is the uh, Traxxas 3.3 uh, engine. Um, sorry if the light is kind of weird here. Um, I'm trying, as you can probably tell. But uh, that's as good as it's gonna get. Anyway, uh, this is the Traxxas 3.3 engine. And uh, I'm going to do a teardown on it. It's a how-to video. Uh, I'm going to tear it down, uh, get it all cleaned up and everything. And um, it's extremely, extremely dirty. So, um, first thing you do is if you have your instruction booklet, go by this. Um, in here, it, it, it tells you what to do and what not to do and you know and what not and and uh, I don't need to know all that crap all I need I don't even actually need this but I'm just I'm making a video here so I'm explaining you know it, it shows you how to do everything you know and yada 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 so if you have that use that if not well this is how I do it Take your engine head screws, pull the, take them off the head, pull your head off. Okay. Now this motor here uh, has already been has already been gone into, so it is missing the uh, shims for the head. But um, got new ones here. What my friend was saying is that as it's doing is that as I guess it's leaking uh, through the head or you know between the head and the block here so that that's telling me that um, either there's a bad shim or there needs to be another shim or you could have a crack case or whatever the case may be well okay after you take the head off, then you want to take the easy start off. So you grab your tool. This is my my first nitro engine how-to video. So if it's kind of shaky and raw and out there and stuff like that, well, just bear with me. I still need to get my tripod. So this is kind of hard to do here, but hang on. Put you guys down for a minute. I'll at least talk so you guys know what I'm doing here. I know all you guys are getting is an out of focus picture right now, but at least you guys can hear me. Um, I would set my camera up straight so you guys could uh, see what I'm doing, but unfortunately it is heavier it is heavier than um, one side of the camera is heavier than the other so it just falls over so right now I am taking the uh, screws out for the easy start and of course you always gotta have one that likes to fight you come on you little bugger Okay, I'm getting it here. Alright. Now. Okay. Now, after you get those screws loose, then you pull the easy start off. You know, and then uh, you got this here. You know. And, you know... That's where the one-way bearing goes, and the one-way bearing usually always sticks in there, and there it is, and you can tell that this is just gooey, you know. So anyway, okay, move that off to the side. You can clean that later. Move your head off to the side. Clean that later. So then here's what you got so far. Okay, and then what you do, the next thing you do is, um, let's see, where's it at? Right there. There's a little little screw right there. You loosen that to uh, get your carburetor off. So I'm going to set you guys down again. 
be with you in just a minute. If you don't have a T-wrench to take that off, what you can do is you can use a pair of needle nose and uh, you can pinch the pair of needle nose on the nut. Just make sure that you have a good grip and uh, go ahead and twist her off. You just want to make sure that you have a good grip on it because you don't want to strip it off or round it off I mean you know because then otherwise you're gonna have to you're gonna be ordering some parts and um, usually these um <clears throat> boy this one's really stuck okay sometimes sometimes they, they'll get really stuck and um, you got to loosen the nut really good and then give it a little give it a little tap and then uh, there it goes there it comes loose and then what you do is um, you just keep spinning it and spinning it and spinning it let me turn macro on there you go you just keep turning it and turning it until it eventually I, I know I'm, this is really bad here, you guys. I'm trying. Until it just pulls off, like so. And you turn around, take, put your carburetor off to the side. And then, um, there's what you got so far. Trying to get the shots as good as I can here. Uh, I'm going to have to make a part two, because I don't even have, well, about half the engines tore apart, but next then what you do is you take your uh, your clutch bell off and then there's gonna be a clutch uh, or a flywheel nut you take the flywheel nut off and uh, sometimes you have to take sometimes you can hold them with your hand like this and then you can um, use a wrench or a socket or a crescent wrench I wouldn't use a pair of pliers or a needle nose because you don't want to strip that. Take that off and then sometimes they'll just wiggle and pop off. Or you'll have to um, take and uh, just lightly tap on it until it comes off. But um, let's see if I can get the clutch bell off before I got to uh, start part two here. And um, on the clutch bell there will be a little cotter pin. Uh, C clip thingy that you got to take off and take that off and put that off to the side and then um, now what you can do is you just pull this directly off just like so and then remember that uh, there is a little Teflon washer a little Teflon washer right there and no you don't want to lose that and uh, I almost forgot and I almost lost mine that's why I just said that so now and you can go ahead and pull the bearings off if if it sometimes they come with the clutch they come right off with the clutch bill but in this case it didn't now you got the, the clutch uh, shoes here and uh, what you do with that is um, you can just uh, pop these right off and then they'll go right back on and um, I'm almost out of time so uh, I will continue with the part two uh, please rate subscribe and comment and I'll be right back peace